Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be checking out the Data Locker USB Secure Key K300. So let's get started. Now I come to a realization where I actually need one of these devices so I can actually store uh, crypto key passwords, my personal passwords and data that I want to keep safe. The main purpose of this thing is that it actually has a password lock in front so you can't actually access the data unless you have the correct key. And inside that key, you could actually set up user permissions as well as different boot modes and a ton of other stuff in this thing. So it's basically a smart USB key. Now the version that I got is 128 gigabytes. Uh, the model number is K300 and it also has USB 3.1 data transfer. Now I do recommend getting one of these, at least an eight gigabyte version or a 16 gigabyte version. They do have a lot of sizes just so if you do have some sort of data that you want to keep safe, this is practically the best way to go. It is also waterproof, so if you do drop it in the toilet or something, yeah, it is protected against that. Just make sure it is completely dry before you plug it into a computer. I actually picked it up from a Twitter garage sale from Shannon Morris, so I got really lucky on getting one of these. Now, it did come in its original packaging, and one of the weird things that I did see is that you can actually access the device through the packaging, and it actually gives you the password in the back, so you could type it in and change the password and do whatever you want. But fortunately, there is a little reset hole or pin where you could pop in and actually reset the device. So even if somebody did decide to go in and change the password, you could always reset it and it goes back to factory defaults. Now, there's a lot of things you could do with this. Going into a menu after you logged in, you could go down, you could hit the connect, which will allow this device to connect to a PC and act as a normal USB. You have the read only mode where when you plug it into a computer, uh, you only can read the data, you can't delete it or anything. Then you have boot modes. Now, boot modes is allowed for any time that you would need to uh, boot into Windows to go or to a Linux live environment, you could set it, the USB disk up for that and change the boot mode to access that. Now, the last you have menu. Now, inside the menu, you can actually set up two users, which is one, the administrative user, which is what we're in right now. And then you actually have a regular user where this user can only have specific access to the device's options. Then under that, you have strong password where you can actually change the settings. So when you're typing in the password, it requires numbers, letters, and whatever it else. So if you want to change that setting, you're actually essentially changing the password that you're allowed to type in. Then minimum password, again, that's a setting for however short or long you need the password to be. So minimum would be eight characters or something. You only could set up passwords for a minimum of eight characters. Now, next three options you have uh, safe console, which I am actually not too sure about that. Then you have read only mode. You can set the uh, mode for the read only access, the auto lock timeout. So right now it's set to 60 seconds. You could change that to like a minute or a minute and a half. Uh, now, last you have a zero eyes. Zero eyes is basically resetting the device back to factory defaults. And that is about it. There's also a setting here, I don't know where it is, um, where you could set it up where if somebody actually types in the wrong password 20 times or 10 times or something like that, it'll actually do a data wipe on the device so nobody can get access to the information inside. Now, once you're done playing around with this, you can actually just go back out and just hit connect and you can connect this into a computer. Now. If you go into the main website of this, um, the data locker, there's actually firmware updates that you could do to this guy. Currently, this is on the latest firmware, but periodically check because they will have newer firmware. So if there's newer hacks or something that happens to this guy, the, the firmware will protect against it. So keep that in mind that you have to do that. Last but not least, uh, I actually bought this for two reasons. One, definitely to keep my data safe because that's mainly what I'm using it for. But two is to actually see if I could create a device like this using a Raspberry Pi 2 or Raspberry Pi. And I really wanted to play around with an actual device before I mimic the encryption and everything into a Raspberry Pi Zero to see if I could actually build myself something similar to this. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my Nerd Cave, Hack till it hurts.